Christmas, but you have outdone yourself and brought me the worst Wolverine. With Hugh Jackman's Wolverine making a huge comeback in Deadpool and Wolverine, Marvel fans can't wait to see how the MCU will continue to explore the X-Men now that they can. But with what we know so far about Wolverine in the MCU, there's a high probability the character played by Jackman will be killed off soon. Let's get into it. Marvel Comics are an endless source of inspiration and continue to expand faster than the MCU can. So far, Marvel Studios has adapted many different superheroes from the comics. However, due to the ownership of certain characters by other film studios, it took Marvel a long time to secure the rights to adapt, for example, the X-Men. Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine in the Fox Pictures X-Men franchise made him a cultural icon. His take on Logan, or Wolverine, defined the character in live action, and his return in Deadpool and Wolverine adds a nostalgic edge to the MCU like it never had before. However, as we have seen in Deadpool and Wolverine, the franchise has yet to introduce the Wolverine of the main timeline if there even exists one at the present moment. In what was the third Deadpool movie, Wade Wilson finds out early on that the Logan from his own universe is dead, which prompts him to look for a variant Logan to replace him. As Deadpool travels through the multiverse and finds the Wolverine that stays with him for the rest of the movie, it's implied this new Logan is not an anchor being. Yet, he proves his worth as the plot progresses and he becomes the new anchor being, proving Deadpool right. As an anchor being, Deadpool and Wolverine's Logan can't permanently cross over to the main timeline in the MCU like Deadpool could. This paves the way for Marvel Studios to build an X-Men franchise by introducing brand new characters and setting it in the main timeline. Here's a plot theory for one of the first X-Men movies, detailing how the new Wolverine could be introduced. The MCU aims to build a younger, sustainable cast of superheroes who can grow with the MCU's evolving storylines, much like how Tom Holland's Spider-Man has been doing. Although Marvel has recently brought back not only Hugh Jackman but also Robert Downey Jr., the overall cast is being slowly renewed and important superhero titles are being passed on, like Captain America and Black Widow. A new actor playing Wolverine in the main timeline would fit in perfectly. It would be interesting to give Hugh Jackman a proper send-off with one final appearance, since Deadpool and Wolverine, a major disturbance in the multiverse could have been caused by Deadpool's misuse of TVA's multiversal traveling devices. The duo would then need to travel through the multiverse again to fix everything Deadpool had broken. Once in the main timeline, they would come face to face with a younger Logan, who has been recently experimented on by Project X and is filled with rage. After that, captured and manipulated by Department H, being used for various covert operations, this new Wolverine would be an unpredictable character. The main timeline's Wolverine is sent to kill the older Logan variant, played by Hugh Jackman, who is just passing through as he helps out Deadpool. In a climatic showdown of Wolverine vs. Wolverine, the older variant dies. Deadpool panics, aware that the anchor being of his universe dying means his Earth isn't safe. Deadpool immediately goes back to his own universe, in hopes of finding a way to save it. Such a story could pay homage to the Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman that we all know and love by giving him one final adventure, with only himself, or a variant of himself, being able to ultimately stop him. With Jackman's Wolverine given a fitting send-off of epic proportions, the MCU would be able to now develop this brand new Wolverine in the main timeline. Having killed an older version of himself from another universe, the Logan of the main timeline would start his tenure in the MCU with a very dark tone. This Wolverine is a younger, raw version who doesn't carry the same seasoned experience as Jackman's, offering the MCU a chance to build the Wolverine arc from the ground up. Over time, this Logan can evolve. He would begin to feel guilty for having killed his variant. This could even eventually inspire the new Logan to meet again with Deadpool to try and somehow fix the lack of an anchor being in his universe. The Foundation is set to explore other X-Men characters and finally have X-Men movies set in the MCU. Of course, Marvel could choose to keep Hugh Jackman's Wolverine alive in Deadpool's universe as he is now and simply not show him ever again if they wish to build a new X-Men franchise set in the MCU actually showing that his version of the character died, especially if fighting his own younger self in the main timeline 
would not only be more respectful to the character as he's written off, but also help differentiate the MCU Wolverine's arc from the previous one in the Fox movies. The MCU could build up the story of Professor Charles Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters and make it the headquarters for young mutants within the entire franchise. This school setting would create the perfect environment to watch Wolverine find his place as both a mentor and reluctant team player. Torn between his lone wolf mentality and a growing loyalty to the X-Men team, it's a setting that has a familiar charm since it has been adapted many times from comics to other media, but allows fresh narrative directions at the same time. For instance, Marvel can recreate the iconic rivalry between Wolverine and Cyclops. They disagree on how to treat the young mutants at the school, which is a constant conflict in the comics but hasn't been a major plot point in the Fox movies. Marvel can also explore romantic subplots that earlier films only touched upon. Marvel has the opportunity to really explore Wolverine's story from scratch. Wolverine fans would be thrilled to finally see certain details the Fox movies ended up missing in the 2009 movie X-Men Origins, Wolverine. A new prequel movie or show could revisit the character's mysterious past, revealing more about his experiences with Project X and Department H, his struggles with amnesia, and the slow return of his memories. In previous films, Wolverine's past has been a part of the mix, but there is definitely still more ground to cover narratively. Hugh Jackman's final portrayal of Wolverine could bring closure to the legacy he established. This passing of the torch would allow fans to say goodbye to the beloved actor while opening the doors for a new Wolverine to make his mark in the MCU. Without killing the last Wolverine off the multiverse, especially after bringing the iconic Hugh Jackman back to the role, it would be difficult to establish a new version of the character as the most important one within the multiverse. At the same time, avoiding the introduction of a new Wolverine for the new X-Men movies would probably present narrative challenges for the franchise later on. By giving Jackman's version of Wolverine a powerful final story, Marvel can mark the end of an era while paving the way for an exciting new chapter in the X-Men saga. This way, the new Wolverine's journey would be both a fresh origin and a continuation of Wolverine's long-standing legacy, establishing that one is replacing the other forever from this point on. This wouldn't be the first time fans watch Hugh Jackman's Wolverine die on the big screen, but it would most likely be the last. Do you think that's a good way to start renewing the X-Men cast for future X-Men movies in the MCU? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching CBR.